And now coming up on Sunnage Gaming, it's the start of the Celebrity FIFA World Cup. Well, hello everybody and welcome along to the start of the Celebrity FIFA World Cup. We are absolutely delighted to be at the Cardiff City Stadium today for the first group stage match between Wales and England. A real grudge match to start us off for the tournament. Alan Smith, as ever, is alongside me in the commentary booth. Alan, have you recovered from the Celebrity FIFA Cup final yet? Well, yeah, I have and uh, don't really want to talk about that. But uh, this game needs no introduction and... Uh the rivalry, you can feel it around the stadium and I can't wait! Join us for Wales versus England, the first game of the Celebrity FIFA World Cup next, and it's live! And so to the lineup for Wales, starting in goal is Tom Jones. It's a back four of Catherine Zeta Jones, Joe Calzaghe, Anthony Hopkins, and Gavin Henson. David Lloyd George sits in defensive midfield with Gareth Bale and Shirley Bassey on the wings. In behind the two strikers in the creative midfield role is Hugh Edwards. And uh, up top are Shakin Stevens and Nessa from Gavin and Stacey. Of course, both sides able to have one legendary football player in their starting lineup. Gareth Bale gets the nod for Wales there now, Alan Smith. Yeah, big name and uh, hopefully he can lead them through it. But, you know, other players like David Lloyd George have the leadership skills. So that'll be important. Indeed it will. Both teams lining up for their team photo. At the front there, of course, we can see David Beckham, who's come out of retirement to captain England on the right-hand side of midfield. In goal for them is Winston Churchill. Back four for them as well, Adele, J.K. Rowling, Lethal Bizzle and James Bond. Two in defensive midfield, it's the Queen and captain Tom Moore. Across midfield, it's Ed Sheeran, John Lennon and David Beckham with the big target man in Stormzy up front. A fantastic looking lineup for England. How do you think they're going to fare in the World Cup this year, Alan? Well, you know, I know we always get excited, or well, I do, about football coming home, but I've got a good feeling about this one, the calibre of the players they've got, and uh, now Tom Moore's in there, I think he'll be influential, and I love him! Indeed, 100 years old, playing in central midfield alongside the Queen, who's 94. Very ageing midfield line they've got back there. Do you think that's going to affect their performances anyway, as the game goes towards the 90th minute? Is, is their stamina going to be able to hold up? Well, you know, they've been around a while, and uh, I think the main thing is they understand how big this clash is you know the old enemy uh, we're friends off the pitch but on it we are rivals and uh, they'll be key when it comes down to it indeed they will as here's Hugh Edwards taking the ball forward from central midfield finding Shakin Stevens in behind to Shirley Bassey down the right hand side that contest with Adele is going to be a very important one as she finds Gavin Henson good feet from him he whips the cross oh. in or oh, but lethal bizzle heads away and finds his uh, UK music scene buddy Stormzy. Ed Sheeran now picking it up and finding the Queen bursting forward from central midfield. She finds Ed Sheeran and now Stormzy looking back for Ed Sheeran, big oh. chance! Oh, but what a save from Tom Jones. Fantastic reflexes to turn it over the crossbar. Oh, what's new pussycat? He's got a reflex of a cat. He's just like Mr. Jumbles. Here's Adele back healing it to the Queen who's been looking magisterial in central midfield. Ed Sheeran oh. finds Stormzy, oh. and the opening goal has been scored. Stormzy slams it past Tom Jones, and he continues his great form for music stars in the Celebrity FIFA Cup into the World Cup for England, and it's 1-0. Well, you'd expect Tom Jones to be better on the green, green grass of home. Why, why, why didn't he save that? Great finish from Stormzy. The Welsh fans have been singing their hearts out so far, but he's just said shut up to them all by slamming it into the back of the net. It's 1-0 England. So Wales kick us off a goal down. Stormzy in the 17th minute, opening his account for the World Cup and indeed scoring the first goal of the tournament. Lovely little move. Him and Ed Sheeran have got a real understanding for club and country. Shirley Bassey takes it down on the right-hand side. Adele gets a foot in, but it finds Nessa who back heals it. Lovely touch from her to find Shirley Bassey. In goes the cross, but it's oh. easy for Winston Churchill in goal. Well claimed there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. And I'd, uh, I'd like to see a bit more from Gavin Henson pushing forward, you know. He's uh, having a good try, but failing to convert at the minute. JK Rowling punts the free kick forward. 
intercepted though. Now here's David Lloyd George in central midfield finding Hugh Edwards reading the game like he reads the news here as he uh, gets forward oh. and gets it back here from Nessa. It's a lovely one too. Nessa with a huge chance oh. and she slammed it into the bottom corner while Nessa smashed it in. Winston Churchill was left flat-footed in goal. It was a brilliant finish and it's 1-1. What a comeback this is from Wales. Oh, what a comeback. That's what's occurring right now. And news just in, Hugh. What an assist. Lovely finish, wasn't it, from Nessa. Just slams it into the bottom corner. She is lethal up front and a great celebration to match as well. It's 1-1. What a start to this game. So 1-1, 26 minutes gone. A great start to the tournament so far, Alan. And of course, as it's the World Cup, have you decided to branch out in terms of the cuisine you're going to be eating each day for lunch? Well, it's funny you should say that. I don't want to promote myself, but uh, I've got a sandwich van at half-time set up. And uh, today's a combination of Welsh and English cuisine. So we've got a hot crust bun with some Welsh rarebit on the top. And that's topped off with some jam and mustard. Sounds delicious. Unfortunately, I brought my own sandwiches today, Alan, so I don't think oh. I'll be popping by, but uh, maybe later on. Yeah, I'm not expecting loads of people to invest, but you know, the more the merrier. David Beckham standing on the corner down this left-hand side for England. Played in, oh. but headed away at the near post. Well, comes out as far as Tom Moore. Good little bit of footwork from him. Played in field to Ed Sheeran, and now the Queen back to Sheeran and now the Queen again could be the chance of a shot oh. here if she can work it onto her right foot she tries to cut inside oh, your she's majesty. dispossessed and it's smashed forward so of course this is the opening game of the Celebrity FIFA World Cup here on Sunnage Gaming you can see how the uh, group stages are looking on screen right now some very tasty matchups there are indeed and uh, during this first game week uh, there are many games that look really good uh, the next game that's going to be shown in full on Sunnage Gaming is indeed going to be decided by you guys as it will every week because here during the Celebrity FIFA World Cup we're going to be doing Fan Game Fridays which means the second game of each week you guys can vote to decide which one you get to see there's a poll in the top right hand corner of the video right now that you can click and uh, vote on your favorite game whichever gets the most votes will be shown on friday evening and the rest of the games from this week's lineup of fixtures will be shown in a little highlight show it's a match of the day-esque type thing on sunday afternoon where we're going to be rounding up all the best bits from the games that you won't be able to see during the week i'm very excited alan who do you reckon is going to get to be the uh, the fan game friday this week Oh, I don't know. I think it's pretty tough. I mean, I think a lot of people like to see USA, France or Scotland, Russia is another big one. But, you know, it's down to the fans. And either way, I'll be excited. Well, there is the half-time whistle. Deadlocked at the break. 1-1 the score between England and Wales here. Great first half. England went ahead through that goal from Stormzy. But Nessa, as you can see there, uh, pegged them back with a lovely finish. 1-1 going into the break. Can't wait for the second half. Can you, Alan? Well, I better get off, go and make some sandwiches, but yeah, I'll be back and I can't wait. This match is brought to you by Mr. Jumbuzz's Meowth Balls. Did you ever look at your cat and think, that cat couldn't finish his dinner? Well, worry no longer, because Mr. Jumbuzz's Meowth Balls are tasty and made with 100% natural ingredients like tuna, beetroot, sandwiches, and lemonade. Take advantage of our jumble sale now with 50% off when you type in offer code R18 on our website. Mr. Jumbles is Meowfuls for people who love their cats. So Stormzy kicks us off. The score is 1-1 going into the second half in the first game of the Celebrity FIFA World Cup here between Wales and England at the Cardiff City Stadium. Gavin Henson holding off Adele. You have to say Henson's been uh, dealing with the pressure down the left-hand side for England quite well so far. He has, and uh, you know, you've got to be careful with Adele. One minute she's not there, and then, hello, she is. So, uh, she's dangerous. Here's Nessa playing the ball over the top towards Gareth Bale, but he's caught offside. And uh, he hasn't had much of an influence so far, Gareth Bale, as the first substitution of the game is taking place here. Shakin Stevens being replaced by Prince William. Slightly controversial uh, addition to the Welsh squad, of course. Uh, how do you see him having an influence on this game? Well, it is a bit controversial, but we know for a fact, you know, when he watches Wales games in the uh, rugby, he likes to show his uh, allegiance to Wales, but his grandmummy won't be happy and she might try and foul him. Ed Sheeran. 
Now Stormzy, another great back heel. And Ed Sheeran oh. gets into the penalty area here. He's got support from Stormzy, oh. and it's 2-1. Fantastic play from England, and Ed Sheeran sets up Stormzy for the second time at this game. It's 2-1. Stormzy's on fire. Oh, he is. That all started with Colonel Tom Moore, though. What a legend. What a great service he's been to his country so far. And he's just adding to it now. Well, there's been talk in the England camp about Stormzy getting a bit big-headed. A lot of people saying he's been too big for his boots, but he's proving it here with a great finish. I think you might have cracked that one before, Sonny. So, uh... so Wales kick us off just under an hour gone here between England and Wales. And England have the advantage so far. Two goals from Stormzy. So first substitution of the game taking place here for England. Looks like Winston Churchill is going off in goal to be replaced by Boris Johnson. And uh, Paul Potts is also coming on for Wales down the right-hand side in place of Shirley Bassey. Yeah, big substitution, you know, Churchill. I wouldn't say he's at his finest hour, but... Uh... That man will do anything for victory, and even if that means coming off. More substitutions being made here as well for both teams. It looks like both their patron saints are coming off the bench. St. David and St. George come on for John Lennon and Gavin Henson. They're going to be doing battle on the field. Oh yeah, big clash this one. The dragon and the dragon slayer. Good to see Lennon coming off. I think Aaron Lennon probably would have been better than John, and it's uh, not hard to imagine him being dropped. Tom Jones throws it out to St. David, who gets his first touch of the ball. He plays it forward. Nessa chests it down really nicely. Finds Hugh Edwards and now Paul Potts with his first touch of the game. Edwards here, back to Potts, who of course uh, was released by Hell FC after the mix-up, after they thought they'd signed Paul Potts, but instead they signed Paul Potts. Of course, he's not evil in the slightest, but he's back in the Welsh team and he gets it on the right-hand side here. Headed back to St. David. Now Paul Potts. Ooh. Could be the chance of delivery into the box. In it goes to the near post. Oh, oh it's dealt with well by Captain Tom Moore. And play clear. Here's St. George. Paul Potts has uh, proved he's got talent on more than one occasion. And he's already done that there. So we'll go down to our touchline reporter now. Gary Neville is joining us from the sideline. Gary, what do you make of the game so far? Well, it's been a great game. I think a lot of people were worried about the uh, advantage Wales would have being at uh, Cardiff. But I've been trying to get the England fans going and and you know getting them up in spirits by chanting things like uh come on england come on england and gary neville gary neville but it's just not really worked oh, can't think why that might be is uh, we also saw a substitution there ed sheeran after his two assists has been replaced by the england manager and william shakespeare comes on and here he is with his first touch finding stormzy now tom moore Back to Shakespeare. Good little move this from England as Stormzy gets into the area here. Oh, oh it was a good save from Tom Jones at his near post to deny him the hat trick. Well, I think Shakespeare's already had an impact. You know, he's a great playmaker and a great play writer. David Beckham plays the free kick short to the Queen. Good footwork from her as she gets into the penalty area. Back to William Shakespeare. Now Adele and the shot tries to come in from Lethal Bizzle, but it's blocked. And now maybe Wales can break. It's a three on three momentarily as Gareth Bale has it down the left hand side. James Bond, though, has dealt with Gareth Bale very well, hasn't he? Oh, he has, you know, and uh, he's entertaining to watch. He's got a licence to thrill, but he can also kill people. Joe Calzaghi looking to punch the ball forward as he plays it into the direction of Nessa. Lovely chest control again from her, but she's dispossessed. Tom Moore in the centre of the park has uh, looked really good today in defence. Oh, yeah, he has, and I uh, can't thank the guy enough. Um, uh, we've, in these tough times, we've uh, struggled to keep our motivation but it's people like him who keep my spirits up and get me excited yeah and speaking of uh, doing stuff for charity Alan I saw you were doing your bit the other day going down your street and uh, washing people's cars uh, for a bit of charity money I saw Jeff Shreve got, got involved as well did you have fun? yeah we did um, I wanted to do it naked but uh, Jeff said we might get arrested and uh, I had to agree but anything for the cause here's more down the right to James Ooh. Bond Takes a touch and plays it in. Good effort into the side netting, but that sparks the full-time whistle and England are victorious in the first game of the Celebrity FIFA World Cup. Brilliant performance from them. Stormzy and Ed Sheeran in particular up front absolutely ran riot with the Wales defence and they get three points from their first game of the tournament. Great stuff from them, wasn't it, Alan? Yeah, what a game. What an opener it is and uh, you know, I hope the sandwich business takes off, but also... I hope this is a fun tournament, and that's the main thing. It's not about my sandwiches, it's about the game and the love of it. And uh, if anyone wants their car washed or wants a sandwich or just needs any kind of 
work done for money, just give me a shout and uh, I'll be happy to help for money, obviously. Thanks a lot for that, Alan. Great insight as always. And thank you very much for watching. Remember, guys, to vote on the next game that you'd like to see here on Sunday's Gaming for the Celebrity FIFA World Cup. There's a poll in the top right-hand corner of the video which you can click and select the game you'd most like to see on Fan Game Fridays. We'll also round up all the highlights from every game on the Sunday Roundup Show, uh, sort of match of the day type vibe. It's going to be a lot of fun. We can't wait for this tournament. Do leave a like if you're excited for the Celebrity FIFA World Cup. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss uh, an episode of the World Cup during the tournament. But until Friday, this is Sunday signing out. We'll see you then. Thanks very much for watching. Farewell.